Early on the morning of Saturday, April 26th, Liz reported that she was awakened by Billy and asked to meet him in an area north of the courthouse where reenactment shows are sometimes held. She grabbed her audio recorder and turned it on as she got close to this reenactment area. Now for those not familiar with paranormal investigation terminology, EVPs or electronic voice phenomena are recorded spirit voices which are not heard audibly by the human ear but are picked up by audio recording equipment and which the human ear can hear when the audio is played back. Now as I've mentioned in previous videos the SASB team is not out to prove anything to anyone and whether you believe these EVPs you are about to hear are real or not is entirely up to you. But Liz has a gift in addition to her mediumship when it comes to collecting EVPs. I've never met or heard of anyone else who has this type of gift, but there have to be others out there who do. And maybe they don't go public with them for the same reason we've kept them to ourselves. And that is the potential for ridicule from others who think we're faking evidence. SASB does not fake evidence. What we present is real, it's true, and it's legitimate. And as I said, it's up to you whether you believe it or not. And we don't have any video of this session. It's all audio. But it's incredible EVP audio. Is this truly the voice of Billy Bonney? Is he really captured on audio answering question after question from Liz? And even singing to her? As I said, you decide for yourself. But whether you choose to believe it or not, this audio is real, it's true, and it's unedited. It was captured by Liz on the morning of April 26, 2014, during our investigation in Lincoln, New Mexico. Okay, it's April 26. It's Saturday morning, probably 7, 7.15 a.m. Billy woke me, told me to meet him over at this place by the courthouse where they do reenactments. So I'm coming to see what's up with Mr. Bonnie. Got some questions for him. I'm sure he's got questions for me. Billy, I hope you had a good night. I hope that what we did, you feel we did out of respect. I mean, there's so many stories about you, and we're hoping that you can give us the truth. So I'm here. I'm walking up. It has a building that says McSween House. and the courthouse. That Susan McSwain. Rich L.P. Del Toro and the blacksmith. Patron store, courthouse, General Jose Mission. Well, Billy, I just felt you come up and you were behind me now I see you. Thank you for not scaring me. So I'm here. So what do you need to tell me, my friend? Go oh, darling, today I'll make you famous. I heard you were a good singer. I'll sing you a little bit, dark. Billy, don't say nothing, don't do nothing until this car goes by. I'm not sure this or something that bothers you. Don't look at technology. So, it'd be really nice if I could hear your voice. 
So I have a couple of questions if you don't mind answering. What was the name of your son's mother? Well, that was not sweet, Paul either. And do you your son's name? That was a four. All me. And in that movie, Outlaws or Gun Run, there's a famous scene where a woman rides out naked and tells them they can kiss her ass. Do you remember her name? I believe her name is Jay. And I'm just curious. When you say skin out, what does that mean? back and stop this and see if we made a uh, contact. I wonder if they'll put it on a show or if they've stopped doing them. See if we make contact. 